All right, welcome back to our Guild Wars 1 playthrough. We are in Guild Wars Factions. We are doing the Napui Quarter. This is kind of the Ascension mission for uh, Factions. Uh, and this is a special, a special episode because we were actually joined with some human players. We got some people from YouTube uh, who've been watching videos want to join in. And uh, also the great Guild Wars in 2024, aka Guild Wars mod, blessed us with another team up. So uh, some of you maybe don't enjoy this kind of content from what I usually do because I've typically been doing like henchman only runs. But uh, I kind of mention it in the episodes like the way I see it is this is a nostalgia run. So if I'm given the option of either playing with just henchmen alone uh, which is fine. That's fun. Um, or if I'm given the option to play with real players, I'm going to go with the players because uh, Guild Wars is a social game. It's all about reliving the nostalgia, teaming up with players, and it's a load of fun. So uh, hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't, there will be plenty of more content where I'm uh, trying to grind it myself and working with the henchmen. Those are, those are great too, so... Those, those types of videos will come up. But yeah, we're going to run a couple of uh, missions together. We're going to do this mission. We're going to do some quests. And then possibly the next mission as well. We're going to be uh, teaming up with these guys. So hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, this is the uh, mission. Let's get with the episode. What henchmen do you recommend? I was running the... Uh, oh, we have like so many henchmen to choose from now. Maybe get the two spirit, the two ritualists. Yeah, two healers. We get like another another mesmer <laughs> that overkill. Uh, let's see. This might be overkill on the healing, actually. Overhealing on the healing. Maybe get a warrior just to have a front line. It's alone. Silverwing, the classic. Our Tengu brother. Nice. Um, oh, wait. He says I have a friend yeah, coming. One more person coming. Okay, no noisy spirits. Man. You okay. know, I could really run any character. I just decided to play Mesmer. But I could really play anything. But I think Mesmer I'll stick with. Do it. Yeah, we get, we get double Mesmer action. Hello. I, I'm just going to go E Surge. E search just going to nuke nukage. Yeah, let's do it. I'll go. I might switch to. Um. Yeah, I don't know how many um. How many conditions we're gonna be using then? Oh, so I might go like. Migraine or something. Might be better. Yeah, it's not bad because we will face lots of bosses, so and it'll like do some damage on them. And, stuff. and then I'll go like a Wastrel's Glory since they'll be slow. Oh no, that's Domination. Do... I think I've beaten the Factions campaign now in every profession. You know, I haven't done that for every campaign, but factions I have. It's so quick to beat. Yeah, it's really the the missions kind of fly through, fly by, especially once you've done them once or twice. Well, shoot, now I'm stuck on my build again. <laughs> uh, I don't have that many skills to choose from, so I shouldn't get that stuck. But let me go like hex removal or something. Or, okay, I know what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Last change. Oh, yeah. This guy's running uh, Signet of Spirit, so we'll just be able to kind of, like, slam right through these enemies. Oh, gosh. We, oh, we got a warrior here, too? I'm just going to invite him, see if he's coming. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. We got, like, a full full team almost. Lots you know, I'm taking out this Resurrect. What were you running? I don't think we're going to need it. 
Uh, resurrect. I don't think yeah. I'll need a resurrect at all. Right, right, right. All right, then finally. Finally, I'll choose. I guess we have. Yeah, I need some healers. This guy and maybe healer. And then we have a fighter now, so maybe a. Earth or something? I don't know. I think we'll be fine no matter what. Vanquish all the way to unwaking, right? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got how many people? We got one, two, three, four, five players. This is awesome. Old school Guild Wars action. You're super. Yeah, how do we have this many players playing <laughs> this mission? Yeah, well, like I I mentioned, I talked to Alex La Alexander last uh, last night. He saw me on, and then maybe he spread the word to some people. I thought maybe they're in the same guild or something, but it doesn't look like it. All right, let's start. I forgot I need to push intermission. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember what elite skills are here. What's the order for this? Do you go like clockwise or something from left to right? Is that the way usual way to do it? I think oh, you can do okay. it any way. Yeah. Someone wrote on the map to go this way. So I guess we'll follow the recommendation. Backwards question mark. So this is like the ascension version for factions, right? Yeah, I think it is. I'm hoping I get access to like assassin secondary and um, uh, ritualist section secondary. That'd be sweet. Oh yeah, this is gonna be pretty quick. Yeah, I always wanted to try that Swordling Aura Encha enhancement or enchantment. I think that's a cool, pretty cool spell. Is this already the first boss? Yep, it's the monk boss. Wow, that was fast. And he's down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so fast. What the heck? Also, my character is doing some crazy, like, skating across the map there. Weird rubber banding action. Oh, can't, like, celestial weapons drop in this area? Those are some of Yeah, my I remember that now, yeah. yep. Those are some of my favorite weapon skins, actually. Alright, I guess we're going that way. And the maps in factions are like really easy to get lost in, I realize, compared to prophecies. Like just yeah, I think so. Because there's like all these different levels, especially around the city. Yeah, they added a bunch of like vertical, vertical layers and stuff.
I was getting all kinds of lost in Kaning City earlier. That was that was Once funny. Once you get you were... heroes, though, it's just gonna be like easy mode. Oh yeah, that's true. I decided not to get any of the hero. Like after Nightfall came out, they added like one hero, assassin hero for factions, and then the um, necromancer for prophecy. I decided not to pick them up actually. I think I'm gonna wait until I get to Nightfall before I use any heroes. It's better. I mean, it's. I think it's kind of cool to play uh, the the campaigns in the order that they were released. Yeah. Well, I remember actually when, whenever Guild like Guild Wars was in its heyday and Nightfall first came out, and then they introduced the heroes. I remember being really, not like a little bit disappointed in it because. It was already kind of hard to get into good teams easily and then once heroes came out there was like it was suddenly really difficult to find parties yeah i remember that too and so i was like man i kind of missed the old days even when but Nightfall in the long run it kind of saved the game you know exactly so that people can still play it it's like they kind of knew what was going to happen so it was it was good planning for sure Kind of some planned obsolescence, you know, yeah. with the release of Guild Wars 2. Yeah, it was real smart. Basically let people just re replace the player base with their own heroes. And that was a big deal whenever they added the update where you could use a full team of heroes. Originally, you could only bring three heroes. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I wish you could just take a full hero team into like HA and GVG, though. Uh, oh, right. But maybe, so. but I think they're afraid of the bots. I, I think that's that's why they don't allow it. Oh, so you could have like a full bot team just like just running through GVG. It'd be really Yeah, weird. and especially Heroes Ascent. You know, people bought that already so much. I've never done Heroes Ascent. Oh no, really? Yeah. There's so after like from watching your channel, I'm like I, you're always showing stuff that like I've never seen before. And I was like, I've I've played this game a lot. How did I miss all of this? <laughs> this game goes so deep, you know? It really does. You never really did that much PvP. What PvP did you do? I play the most PvP I did were um alliance battles back in the day and okay i, I loved did, alliance battles yeah the random random arenas i played a ton of random arenas in uh prophecies and yeah. i i i like the low level arenas too actually remember like in ascalon city and uh in the major oh, yeah, those capitals were fun. yeah there was even the shiver peaks that had it yeah all of those major cities had little mini um level uh low level duels played those a ton yeah my secondary account i still have a level 10 warrior that i got with max armor that i just have sitting at that level to play uh ask on uh, arenas i think genius <laughs> but now it's like pointless you know but i don't want to level them up i'm like i think i'm just gonna leave them like that oh yeah just just hang on to the nostalgia sentimental yeah. value at that point i don't even know like I'm kind of autopilot in this mission, actually. Yeah, this you kind of can be. Our team's kind of carrying, I think. It's crazy. I mean, I don't. I like doing the challenge, like the the henchman runs, but I I'm I'm totally not against having human players because it's like that's that's where the real nostalgia is at, anyway. Yeah, I totally agree. So. I don't mind getting in some real human time. I'm really bad about using my stances, like Mantra of Persistence. Sometimes things just drop too fast. You don't really need to use it. Yeah. Especially, I noticed that with Mesmer. Like, you really just need to use, like, your... You, like a few hexes that's it and then they're usually gone yeah, that's yeah I, honestly i think mesmer is my favorite class it can just do so much damage oh man so good 
I was running that illusionary weaponry build for a while in uh, some areas. It was pretty fun too. Like I, I don't know of any other casters. <laughs> it looks that fun. Can play. Yeah. You know, I have the uh, anniversary axe on my Elementus, and that requires like energy storage. So oh. I've been trying to play some builds with that. Yeah. I didn't know that the Elementalist had a the anniversary for Elementalist an axe. Yeah. yeah what, what could you do with that? You would use some earth earth skills to. Uh, you know, I set up some builds with air magic and ice and magic uh, water magic, but okay. I haven't tried anything else. I haven't really tested them that much either. Yeah, water might work too. Yeah, because of all the um, the uh, like healing and stuff they added for that. Do you remember those like stock builds they give you for random arenas yeah. like early on in the game the, the snow the snowman the uh they had like they all had nicknames i love those those are so cool they don't have them anymore yeah. do they no i still have a special place in my heart for that warrior they had with like the water burst or something and like a knockdown yeah that's the snowman the abominable snowman he had uh, <laughs> okay he had a hammer and then uh he, you would like do a knockdown and uh frozen burst or something like that was so cool yeah those were great did you ever have the the, the uh strategy guide for guild wars when that first came out no i don't think so there's a there's a free pdf you can like do a google search and find it it has some like recommended builds in there too that are just they're kind of funny i thought about doing a series of like trying out the builds recommended in the strategy oh, guide. Oh yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> that'd be pretty good. And, and and it's like the old version, so of course like they're all they're all like the skills have been changed a lot, so but at least getting as close to it as possible. I remember having it. That was a that was a sweet book. But with MMOs like the strategy guides, it was always a mistake to get them because like the first update everything all the information yeah, is obsolete change. yeah the numbers that mesmer puts out is just crazy like i was running that ineptitude build and it's just like you you cast it once and then like 150 damage aoe burst like really satisfying damage yeah and the enemies in this game will always just like auto attack you know yeah so too great having the necromancer with the energy blood ritual i'm like why is my energy low do you think you're going to play a mesmer all the way through the campaigns so you're not going to switch up the characters at all yeah i mean that i i had thought about that doing that too like if i put out that poll for people to vote like i was 50 50 for whether I was going to keep the Mesmer through factions, I was really leaning towards starting on Ritualist. And I've never played a played a Dervish, actually. So I, if I do another... If I change professions for uh, Nightfall, I'm definitely going to do a Dervish. Yeah, Dervish is like my least played class. Was it was it the armor? Like, <laughs> what, what Yeah, the you... armor does suck. I hate it. It's like... Uh, it's very unsatisfying. I'm not a big fan of the melee professions in, overall, though, but... You play a lot of Assassin, though, I, th I thought. Uh, Maybe not. Some, yeah, a little bit. Man, I guess when I first started watching your videos, I think you were showcasing Assassin. That's why I associate you with it, but... 
I think Assassin and Necromancer are actually my most played class. Yeah, I've been playing more of my Necromancer recently. Necromancer and Ranger. Uh, ho hopefully I can get a chance to capture this elite skill before the mission stops. Easy. Oh, I couldn't get it. Dang. <laughs> Too bad. I see that I have yeah, I'm not skipping. You, I'll say. Forgive my harshness. There are those who take the power of the stars for granted. The celestial ministry, perhaps? I see you have encountered them already. Unfortunately. The Ministry are nothing more than an overfed bunch of paper pushers. Ooh. Good for little other than playing parlor tricks at a Naga Cup's birthday party. Big burn. Well, you'll understand then when I don't welcome all of those who come looking to become closer. Now you will excuse Hello? Me. Hey, who's it? It's Alex. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? <laughs> that was a fun run. I don't know. My enchantments getting stripped every five seconds was kind of annoying. Oh, really? I, saw, I noticed you were putting that swirling aura on. I, I, I got that uh, skill not too long ago. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it does help, uh, especially in like higher DPS areas. Just that block and regen but my like energy enchantments kept getting ripped off so i had like no energy uh, yeah i was low on energy that, that mission too this is two extremely wealthy cantons walking alone in the most terrifying back alley ever Been so long since I've seen these uh, cutscenes. Are you an envoy? Yes. <laughs> Are you here to take us to eternal paradise? You're not going to paradise. What are you going to do with us? I don't really like Shiro's voice. To make you into my soldiers. You're going to fight for me. We won't do it. You can't make us. You will do whatever I tell you. Kneel. Bow before your new master. <laughs> All right. Finished it. Thanks, everyone. So I think after doing that mission, we should like we should be able to get new secondaries, right? Yeah, you can get them all here now, all unlocked, and they're like five hundred gold a piece. Okay. Oh yeah, I got some. I got some more money from salvaging. Um. Yeah, I can just get everything now. Feels a little bit like cheating because in prophecies you're supposed to be doing the uh, secondary quests, but I did a few of them. Uh, I want to get I want to get assassin and I want to run like illusionary weaponry with daggers eventually. That Service. would be sick. Yeah, with like the um, shadow, like go go like. Illusion, fast casting, and shadow magic or something. 
I'm a little disappointed I wasn't able to get that elite skill in that last mission. But anyway. Are you guys could always go the, again and uh, do that first thing boss. after this. Uh, what was that? What's the next thing after this? The next primary quest? Oh, uh, I think I got to talk to this adept Kai. Wait, yeah, if I wanted to capture. Yeah, oh, Tanakai Temple is next. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Good one. That's a tough one. Are you guys still are you guys still rolling? Yeah, I'm down. I'm down to do some more. I'm game. Okay. Let me uh